I'm Yasi Salik, and I'm the host of Bandsplain, a show where we explain cult bands and iconic artists by going deep into their histories and discographies. We're back with a brand new season at our brand new home, the Ringer Podcast Network, tackling a whole new batch of artists, from grunge gods to power pop pioneers to new metal legends, and many, many more. Listen to new episodes every Thursday, only on Spotify. This episode is brought to you by Visible. Maybe you've already let your New Year's resolution slip. We all have, but you can still make a two years resolution with Visible. Right now, you can get a one-line wireless plan from Visible for just $20 per month for 24 months. 24 months is basically four bachelor seasons. That could be four engagements, four broken engagements, so many other couples we didn't see them coming. It's really an eternity in Bachelor Nation. And that's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon with no annual contracts. Switch now at Visible.com and use the code Visible24. Don't miss out. Offer ends January 31st. New members only. Promotional rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, see Visible.com. This episode is brought to you by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. eBay knows that when it comes to jewelry, authenticity is the real gem. When you see the blue check mark that says Authenticity Guarantee, it means your next piece will be carefully inspired by jewelry experts and will always be worth its weight in gold. Whether you're looking to make a statement or build the perfect everyday look, eBay is making sure you get the real deal. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, you can trust that jaw-dropping piece will always arrive jaw-droppingly real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. Oh, here we go. We've got Rodney. we got we got my boy. Yo. You probably already know what's up, man. Yeah. I mean, we've just been hearing some stuff. Feels like it's been like, kind of disrespectful to the ladies. Oh, Unfortunately, bro, I got to stop you right there. It's not even like that, all right? I'm not leaving here on anybody's terms with my terms. I made the decision to leave here. This is my time. I'm saying goodbye. Oh, wait. Of course, because when men ask him to leave, he just does it. Ciao, ugly. Yo, one more thing. Buongiorno, bitches! Peter's Pizzeria, the pizza king, is out. No, he did oh not. He did not. God. He did not. He did not. That. He said buongiorno, which means good morning in Italian. And I don't know why he said it at 11 o'clock at night. Welcome to Bachelor Party. I'm Juliette Littman. I'm here with Callie Curry. Callie, the Casa Amor phase of Bachelor in Paradise is here. Mm-hmm. As a Love Island fanatic, what did you think? Um, I think they could have done this a million times better. Like, they really had a good idea and fucked it up. Okay. So, what... So I assume you watch, but I don't know why you're listening if you didn't, but... <laughs> Five new women come to the beach. The existing women have to go, except for Danielle, we'll come back to that, have to go to a much better hotel that features nice beds and air conditioning. Mm -hmm. And then they are met with a few guys. And then the original men stay on the beach with some new women coming in. Our girl Kate is here. We got two Bachelor Australia personalities, which I am excited about. I want more of that. Very random, but Random, but cool. Um... And there's a lot of crying and a lot of doubt. And Callie, what was the first thing they did wrong that you were like, no, that's not it? Um, I really don't like how they made it seem like just the guys got girls. Okay, I was going to be fucking furious. This pod would have not gone well. No, I would have been like... What God. The uh, by the way, I think a lot of people would have been like actually upset if they just brought yeah. in girls. It would have been awful. That uh, would have been just unacceptable. Yeah. Um, which we talked about last week. I was like, there's no way they can do that, right? Like we were we both were like, I don't know. Like it they just seemed like if they did that, their heads were not screwed on. Like they're not in 2020, no. 2022 if they do that. So I'm happy that they brought in the guys, but it wasn't like it was a weird thing where it was the 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 women had to leave. They brought in the new women and in front of them also super weird. 
Then they left, and now the the women are fucking jumping off cliffs. <laughs> Genevieve is on the edge. Genevieve loose, like they were losing their Jill losing their minds. Then they bring in the men, and I'm like, wait, the guys on the beach don't get to see these hot guys coming in. They don't have to panic at all. They think that like they just get to chill with these women, and the girls are at the other hotel. Like it just oh. felt like it felt like an unfair playing field because the guys were completely fine and steady. Yes, and the women were losing their shit before the men even got there. So if you're gonna show both. They should have had the men and the women come up and then separate them. Right. So at least everyone's, like, a lot calmer. Also, like, maybe um, Andrew would have kissed Brittany before if if he knew. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe it would have been, like, a different reaction from both sides. Because clearly, like, after watching it, I'm like, Andrew, I 100% thought that you were going to leap on day one. Yeah. And he tried his hardest. I thought... (laughs) (laughs) I think there's something really weird about Andrew. I don't know what it is, but like, I don't, maybe he's just not like as confident as it seems or something. I don't know. It feels like he's just Is he a, not a, gr- fully... a girlfriend guy? Like, he clearly is a girlfriend guy. Yeah, he said that. But and it, I think even the way he was acting, like, I think that they, like, it wasn't like, I think he really wanted to just not do anything and be faithful. Yeah. Um, I'm happy he didn't. But I just I, I don't know. I yeah, so the imbalance of the of the Mental original state. original guys not knowing yeah. that other guys came in is like a really unfair advantage for the guys mm-hmm. because they just maybe it'll like come back to bite them, but they just they don't have to worry in the same way. Although yes. so a lot of their their worrying, like as like Logan was talking it out, was more about um like not feeling threatened by other guys, but just about, like, you know, not fucking things up with Shanae or whatever. But But also, him being like, well, if she was in this position, she'd probably do it because she did it when she wasn't in this position. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't like that at all. Also, um, I was following along on Bachelor Twitter, and it was great. Really great to see. And... What, What were the streets saying? Serene made a great point where... And I think someone else followed it up, but she was basically trying to justify them all being upset. Mm -hmm. She was like, guys, this isn't like we're on this island with them for 12 weeks and we got one week taken away from us. We're on this island for four weeks where we're supposed to get engaged at the end of it and they just took a week of those of that four weeks away from us i don't believe it's a week but yeah keep going yeah i don't it's probably like four days yeah but still if you only have 28 days to get to the point to be engaged four days is a big fucking chunk of that 28 days so like i understand being upset like wait we've only had 10 days with them and some people less depending upon like when their person got there and you're just going to take four days of, away from us like I know. <laughs> it is a big deal that being said yes they were distraught Genevieve's tears and her like just overall disheveledness was so funny and just like so out of whack I honestly am so happy for her that Aaron also missed her and also was like, you know, wondering what was up with her because she was the level Dying. of her of her just like distraughtness was so extreme that had he not felt at least <laughs> like a little bit the same, it would have been impossible to watch. And I actually, you said you really enjoyed this week. I found the scene at the Vedanta so cringe. Like Olu trying to get Victoria to do to like anything. go on his shoulders to do anything was Honestly, unbearable. I was I loved just like, it. you did. <laughs> I mean, it was so <laughs> awkward. But so I awkward. loved it. Also, oh by the God. way, Victoria F., who's been chilling this whole time, and even I don't even think she got a lot of screen time this episode. Uh, she's just fucking skyrocketed in my rankings. I know. I like couldn't, her. Couldn't like her more after this week. Yeah, she seems like fun. She was also just so chill. She was just like, all right, whatever. Like, I guess you have to go over here. And she clearly does like Johnny, which I don't understand because yeah. I'm not sure if I know Johnny's personality still. Johnny, but- I think, is super weird. I mean, by the way, I do not want to go to an amusement park on my first date <laughs> with you to see the adrenaline or whatever. No, but also, like, he 
when the guys went to go talk to um, Pizza Pete at one point, like, he was with them. And I was like, why are you there? You're not going to say anything. And he didn't. He didn't say a single word. Like, I just can't really figure... He's just a hanger-on. I can't kind figure of. him out. I think he maybe is just, like, quiet and weird. But I'm like... Victoria F. clearly really likes him. I know. So I'm like, he has to And be he able... made it to Final Four. Gabby obviously likes him. <sighs> yeah. So he has to have something. He has to have a personality that we're not seeing. I guess it's just probably like boring for the camera or like monotone. I... Yeah. So maybe he's normal. Yeah. He might just be like a regular guy who yeah. weirdly likes to go to amusement parks like a lot. So... <laughs> I don't know. I, I was just... I'm so confused, but I'm like, okay... She seems to actually really like him, but she was not freaking out at all. No. And I, I think she was even to the point where she was like, well, yeah, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I, the one thing you said that I don't agree with is I think it was good that they showed the women. Like, everyone saw the women who were coming in. It's just like, if you're going to do this, like, stoke the fear as much as possible. I think it's fine if they also show the men. Sure. Okay. I just didn't like that they showed the women in front of them so that they could spiral and the men could just be chilling. Mm -hmm. Like, they got to be the nor their normal normal selves around right. these women. And the the women, only two of them really were even open to it. The rest of them were just... Victoria F. was kind of just chilling all together. But the other ones were, like, on their deathbed. <laughs> Brittany was excited about Tyler. <gasps> yeah. T Tyler seemed a lot more fun than all the other guys. And then he also did on... Rachel's season, so yeah, that was confusing to me. Also, I don't think I realized he was quite so fit. I was just like, was this your body the whole time? Yeah, I didn't even... I guess I still don't really find him attractive. Like, he's not my cup of tea. But he was a little hot commodity when I he know, walked in. So really I'm like, okay, he must look really good in person. And he does have a good body to your point, which was shocking. He kind of gave me, like, little boy on yeah. Rachel's season. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh, weird. I totally agree. I really wanted him and Brittany to work out. I was pissed that Shanae got that date card. Well, previews for next week's show that they rekindle. I really hope so. Brittany's one of my faves. She's, yeah, I do like Brittany, too. I also, I thought it was funny how they all kept comparing themselves to wet dogs because of, like, the bad conditions at... Uh, I mean... At Sayulita. But I also liked seeing Brittany's natural wavy hair. Like, I thought she looked cute. Great. And, Oh, did you notice this? I thought this was, like, kind of, like, pervy. For some reason, in the Tuesday night episode, when they were, like, in the pool together, they kept doing all these, like, close-ups on Britney's, like, butt and, like, Britney's body. And I was just like, they don't usually do this kind of thing in general. I thought that was really Didn't weird. notice. I was just like, this is bizarre, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I didn't notice, but um, Serene also tweeted, please don't comment on anyone's hair. It was raining really hard. I don't know which part she was talking about, but there's been multiple times where I've been like, what the fuck is wrong with their hair? Mostly Genevieve the for me. The conditions seem to be out of control. Re really bad. Um, Serene, it's funny that she was the one tweeting about that because Serene looks, looks flawless. All the time. At all moments. Like All the time. She just is... She's wonderful. Yeah, she's great. She seems perfect. Yeah, she's close to it. Um, <laughs> she doesn't get flustered. She has a lot of confidence. She did cry a little bit, but I do think she was crying more because everyone, everyone else was crying. Was. And I feel like she was like, this is so overwhelming. Like that, her cry wasn't like, I'm like miserable and I think he's going to leave. Because by the way, she was like, I'll go get Brandon right now. He'll leave with me. Yeah. And I was and, like, you tell them because he would. And also, he would leave. He then was just basically not in the episode because he wasn't talking I to know. anyone else. <laughs> there were so many tweets of people being like, this is Brandon on the beach. And it would be like, a, like some guy talking and be like, hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Brandon. I have a girlfriend. And they're like, what's, what's your type? My girlfriend. What would you rate me? I, I cannot rate you. Okay. What would you rate your girlfriend? One to 10. She broke the scale. Like it, every tweet was just like, Brandon is giving these women negative, like not even an ounce of his. He's just like, all right, I guess I'm stuck here for four days. I got to say biggest surprise and surprise to her as well. Kate and Jacob didn't just didn't see that coming. Also confused because I know she hooks up with Logan. We saw that as well. Like, what's going on there, Kate? <laughs> I, I... I don't find him attractive at all. Me either. Although everyone... Which he does look like someone from a ro romance no novel. Yes. But, like, but, like, I don't want like a the men on the romance novel. Me neither. It's a um, joke. I, I, 
I, I'm so confused by Kate. Me too. I We're going to have to talk to her because I just don't she get it. She is very, like, head on shoulders, normal. And I think she just wanted to have fun, I guess. No, I feel like because of the little that I do know, mm-hmm. she is very smart. And I feel like she's like, whose rose can I get? Because I don't want to leave. Mm. And she kind of said that in some of her interviews without blatantly being like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go get a rose. But I feel like she was like, okay, so basically, he's the easiest option. Right. We're headed towards a Jill and Kate showdown. Mm -hmm. Jill is so dramatic. I guess she does it for the cameras, but like... No, I don't think so. You think that's just who she is? Yeah. She has, she has um, a lot of facial expressions she's, too. She's tweeted a lot just about how, like, basically the conditions bring out like whatever in people. And she also tweeted about like having a twitch or something, which she does make a lot of crazy facial expressions. Yeah, she does. But what, how is that a twitch? I don't know. She posted that <laughs> when she watches it, she sees her twitch. She also said that watching this week's like broke her like heart all over again and got her really upset. Oh, God. Um, also, you said Kate and Jill, but previews show Kate and Shanae. Kate and Shanae over Logan. Yeah. Uh, we so could- I don't know what happens next week, but maybe Kate sees an opening with Logan and is like, great, getting off this bus, getting on that one. Because I don't think she actually likes Kate- Jacob. I think she just was like, okay, I can get a rose this way. So if she saw the door open even a little bit with someone who could possibly be an option... Which... Jacob just seems too weird for her. Yeah, oh my God. Like, nothing to talk about. So weird. Wait, sorry. Just weekly Logan Spotify streams update. (laughs) He's (laughs) He's at 8,000 last week, right? Yeah, he's at the 9,380. Slowing down. (laughs) He went from four to eight to nine. I will say, last week, we said Logan is... Seems better than we thought. Yeah. He continues to be better than than, than we thought. He was, like, pretty sweet about not, not wanting to, you know... Disrespect Shanae. Yeah. I also kind of I'm starting to find him a little attractive. Maybe Mm-mm. it's his personality. Also, as you know, I don't like a ripped man, and he's the least ripped of these guys. So mm, yeah, I'm, into I'm not that really too. into super ripped, but um hmm. I'm sorry, I'm I'm starting to get on the Logan train. A Out of bit. the guys there. Yes. <laughs> Was there a question coming or a statement? Uh <laughs> both. I was gonna say, out of the guys there, who would I like, try to get their rose? Like, to stay or because you're interested in them? Yeah, that's... Well, that was the dilemma here. Like, yeah. I would, Who's the easiest okay, mark? Okay, but who would... Which is, I think, was Jacob, which is, like, what I'm trying to give Kate... The credit for. Yes. Like, let's believe she does not actually interested in him. But yes. yes. I'd like to believe that as well. But, okay, who would you be interested in out of the guys that are there? Um, I think Aaron has seemed pretty nice. He's so, actually seemed great. Yeah. And he's like, just so bro I think it's his voice. If he spoke differently, I think it could be different. Because the way he talks is just like, Jesenia, yeah, bro. Jesenia, great to see you here. Yeah. How are you? Oh. He, he reminds me of like a, like Hercules from like a Disney movie or something he like is that. The definition, like just his voice. Yeah. It's like if you needed to hear a frat voice. I know. You should be a voice actor for yes, a frat right. voice. <laughs> But outside of that, he seems he like seems a, great. Yeah, and he also seems like he can be friends with girls, which I I like as well. So Aaron is number one for me. I think I think Logan might be number two. There's something about Logan that I just want to know more. I mean, none of these people are like legit. Oh, sorry, Rodney. I forgot Rodney. I think Rodney for me is number two. Rodney. I think Rodney's number one for me. Rodney and Eliza are so cute. So cute. I'm also really glad she's getting, like, time because I, we should have gotten her... She should have had time on Clayton's season. Like, yeah. She I mean, seems, she did get decently far, right? Yeah, but, like, she never really got to speak. Yeah, but she, she's... Even though she didn't get to speak, I have the same opinion about her now that I did then. Super pretty. So nice. Seems so like a pretty. genuine person. Yeah. It's really, um, really definitely cool. someone she, I would get engaged to. She grew up in <laughs> Germany. Like, she's really, like... She's just, like, very interesting. She also, like, goes to Switzerland, which is, I know, a place that you're willing to live in. (laughs) So, so, I don't know. I just think she seems really great. And, like, seeing a genuine connection pop off like that is is really, like, quite sweet. Also, Rodney was so smitten. I know. I loved it. It was really adorable. And, like, 
the way that he they were talking to each other. So and, like, cute. It was very clear, like early relationship nerves in mm-hmm. like a cute way, though. I I loved it. Also, the way he was talking about her when she wasn't around was unfortunately it was right before he went down and saw Luce <laughs> but it was really really cute and I think they might ugh. be my favorite couple oh my god shut the fuck up no one comes close to Brandon and Serene <laughs> no one it's just really They're, hard Brandon and Serene should literally get off of this and go to like um, what's it uh, 90 Day Fiance or whatever it's called. <laughs> they should just married at first sight. Married at first sight because they're perfect for each other. They're so cute. I love them so much. I just still feel like I don't know a lot about him. So I don't know if they're perfect for each other. But they seem happy. That's great. He's fine. He's whatever. such a good guy. How do you know that? I mean, we saw him for a long time on Michelle's season. All the guys like him. He's still friends with all out. of them. He's friends with Nate. Like, I mean, yeah, Nate. He's friends with Nate. He's friends with Whatever the other guy's name is, Joe. Joe. Like, anyways. Um, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I just feel like he's just a really good dude. Okay. I feel like Michelle probably wishes she chose him. They'd be married. I don't know, though. He's so cute with Serene. I don't really want him to be with Michelle. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's so much cuter with his Serene than Michelle. Yeah, they, they are really cute together. Yeah. Um, but Rodney and Eliza, like, just seeing that sort of build, it's just... Yeah, we got to see... I feel like... Serene and Brandon were like on a hundred from like she couldn't even like look at him when he first walked down to the beach. She was like so excited. Yeah. Eliza and Rodney seem way more like, hmm, this might be interesting. And then slowly it's like, oh wow, they're really into each other. This is it. Like this is legit. Mm-hmm. We're really it, it's happening. I I feel bad for Lace, but like I'm so into them that I'm like, eh, whatever. You'll be fine, Lace. Loose. I don't know if I feel bad for Loose. Why not? Because it's not like her and Rodney have been together since day one. Rodney's been there for 48 hours. Yeah. So. Does it suck? 100% it sucks. But, like, the way she was, like, crying. <laughs> and It was extreme. Yeah, I'm just like, go, go get one of your, go get one of the new dudes. I need to tell you something. Oh, God, what? Eliza went to the University of Florida. <gasps> No wonder she's amazing. I'm really happy for you. That's big. That's huge. That's that's great. (laughs) Oh my God, I'm so happy we can claim her. Also, she works at Cycle, which is like a um, social media company that like, I think works with a lot of athletes actually. So perhaps you should be friends with Eliza. You guys have some stuff in common. You both work with athletes and went to Florida. I'm into it. Gator Chomp. We also both love Switzerland. You both love Switzerland. <laughs> uh, I'm really into them. They're they're great. How do you feel about the other guys who are at the Vedanta? I'm just like, can we get rid of them? The only one I'd like to stay is the Australian because I want to know more. But he's like, also really hot, really hot, and he just seems fun. But I, I just like Alex from Rachel's season, Olu, and Rick. Like that's just that's just like not it. Like. You know, they should have saved James from that group. I know they wanted James and Aaron together, but they needed some heavy hitters in that group. And there's none. Yeah. Except for Tyler. But he's getting all the attention as a result. Yeah, I wouldn't think that Tyler is a heavy hitter, but he clearly is. Um, they definitely could have cast that better. Drop a Greg in there. Ooh, you're just, you're just dying for Greg. Just love Greg <laughs> but so also, much. what if like Justin had left? La- I guess the women knew about Justin. Justin so that yeah. wouldn't have worked. But like, I just but yeah, like what this if is you not a good group. What if you would have had Justin, Andrew, and Greg in that come in? Would have been great. I just think that... They just, need each other. They do need each other. Yeah. But, like, that's a red flag. Do you want to date someone who needs their men or their guys around? To like Personally, no. But I know a lot of people that have friends like that, so... I guess. That's just... That's not for me. Um, But I, I do yeah, feel like that but, needed to have some more juice to it. Um. Well, as we can see, mm-hmm. the producers kind of can tell who would like who, right? Mm-hmm. Also, who, they, they who did objectively they, tell them. Like, they're like, who's they're on my list? Who who did they think was going to like who out of this group? Well, no one knew the Australian guy. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alex, the Russian guy from Rachel's season, Rachel Lindsay. That was so many years ago. Mm-hmm. They definitely don't know him. Olu and Rick are, like, both kind of quiet. And I feel like you need, like, real vibe people. Yeah. And then there's Tyler. It was just so weird. But, I mean, like, I feel like on the flip side... 
they were like, okay, Eliza and Rodney would be great together. Mm-hmm. Um, Dara and Jasenia, Jasenia's been on the show. She knows how to like maneuver around. She knows who she wants. She said she wanted Andrew right away. Um, Sarah did not have a good finish on her season. No, she had like a split personality (laughs) finish. We're like, wait, who is this person? But is objectively gorgeous. Yeah. Probably could have been aligned with a lot of them. Sure. Kate, they were like, okay, she's coming in here hot. She's the party. She's coming in here hot. Like, I just feel like on the flip side, the women, they specifically like casted girls that they knew would make sense. Yeah. And, and they didn't do that. And why, by the way, loved Rick on Michelle's season. We loved Olu on Michelle's season. Yeah, he's just but quiet. But would I pick him for Bachelor in Paradise to come in there and shake things up? No, that's not their personality. Yeah, no. I I also think that they picked like fra- pretty fragile women, or at least, I don't know. But Lace, Shanae, Jill, and Genevieve just seem like such such a mess that I'm just like, do you guys even know? But I don't know how they're going to survive it. I, I'm happy for Genevieve that it seems like Aaron will be waiting for her. But oh my god, she's gonna lose her mind. I know. Um, a couple of things we need to talk about that we've sort of skipped over. First of all, did you see Casey? What he tweeted, Casey. Mm-mm. He's still. He had like four broken bones, and he's like still in a cast and can't walk. I'm, like, very confused about what happened, but it's it, he, like, really got injured. There were so many tweets about this as well where people were like, me, when there's drama happening and it would be, like, a, a woman, like, fully pay attention, like, sipping her straw, like, enjoying the drama. Like, literally, that's us. Everyone that watches the show is watching for the drama. We all want to consume the drama. Casey started it and then was like, oh, fuck. It's like, like <laughs> Homer Simpson me and like he backing away. He <laughs> literally was like, I am getting out of here one way or another. At first, I was like, oh, he's faking. And then when they showed him sitting up, I was like, he's not faking. He fully fainted. He fully had a panic attack over having, that's nuts, three broken bones, three operations four months later. Uh, He's, like, really in bad shape. Yeah, bad shape. But he fully did that. Like, he went down there trying to get a rose, trying to stir things up, and it backfired in the worst way possible. I'm just so I, confused about how he broke his, yeah, his ankle also, so badly. he fainted and didn't even mention it. And I then, know. like, sat up and was like, oh, shit, my ankle hurts. Like, Can we have seen what happened <laughs> or something? <laughs> I mean, I also saw a lot of tweets that were like, um, bet they wish they had Kira now. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> it took, a, like, a minute for the doctors to get down there. Oh, my God. He also was taking issue with, like, if he spread rumors or not. Do you think he should have told Brittany what Pete was saying about her? No. Why not? Pete was going home. Who cares? Also, I think because of Brittany's last season, like, no one believes Pete. No one believed Pete. Like, multiple people in their interviews, in conversations, were just kind of like, he's insane, whatever, whatever. Brittany clearly was not giving her rose to Pete. No one was. Let Pete just go home. Like, why are we making this into a thing that just gives it more time? Sorry, I need to add. Casey Casey posted on Instagram, just to be clear, this is my foot in a cast right now. Tonight, I haven't walked in over four months. I don't know what he did, but he fucked his ankle up. (laughs) So, so insane. Anyway, I'm not mad at him for doing it, but do I think he he needed to? I think it's no. fine. Also, like, do I think he was doing it to tell Brittany? No, he literally said he was doing it to try to get a rose. So let's stop pretending like he was like trying to defend Brittany's honor. He wasn't. He was trying to get a rose, wanted to look like the hero. Obviously, that did not happen. But yeah, no, I agree. I even agreed with Andrew being like, don't even bring it up. Like, just no one cares. Like, yeah. it's, he's a psychopath. Like, who cares what he says? But I, I feel like knowing Brittany's hand, history... Like I know that's the reason to not do it. Yeah. But on the other hand, do you want her to see it on TV? I mean, I guess I could have told him after he was gone or something. If I'm her and I see it on TV and I see everyone else being like, he's crazy, he's just blaming it on, I would not care. I don't know. Like, it would be one thing if Andrew said it, if Aaron said it, if Brandon said it. I'd be like, wow, that would really hurt my feelings. I'd like to know. Pizza Pete is in, like, he does not have an ounce of credibility on this show. <laughs> Not an ounce. <laughs> um, if 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 you were told this about you and you confronted him, would you that want someone w- said that I was just a cloud chaser? chaser? Would you want your friend Jill to come with you to stand up to him? 
<laughs> this is a great question. I was thinking, I think there's probably something cathartic in like just like yelling at Pizza Pete. So like I'm happy for them that they were able to do that. I think I'd be happy to have Jill come. Jill really was just like getting after it and really like final. So I would be, I think Jill seems like a pretty great friend and hype woman. Um, so I think my answer is yes. I once had, once through a party where I had um, two friends like insult this girl who came with a guy that I liked. Oh, okay. And I was like, thank you. I, I, <laughs> I appreciated it. Also, just to be clear, that was when I was like 23. Wasn't recent. So, you know, sometimes your friends have to do the work for you but when it comes to social situations. Yeah, I would have no problem to do that. Like if I, if my friend, if they wanted me to do that, I would do that. Yeah. Um, One time when I was in high school, <laughs> I was at a friend's house and these boys like, wanted to, like, get back at her. I don't remember what, or, like, prank her. And they, like, she, like, buzzed them up to her apartment, and they came with a cake, and they threw it in her face. What? (laughs) You were there? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And we were like, what the fuck? And then it was, like, a group thing of, like, fuck these guys. That sounds insane. I have no stories like that. You don't? No. Threw a cake in her face? Where were their parents? I don't know where the parents were for a lot of this stuff. Maybe, like, in the other room or, like, not home. I don't know. We used to just, like, always go to whoever's house didn't have their parents home that night. Mm, That sounds real good. (laughs) So, (laughs) I don't know. Anyway, the moral of my story is I think it's great to have your friends support you in these kinds of situations. So, Jill, I see you, and I appreciate you on behalf of Brittany. But also, Brittany seemed like she could have handled it herself. Yeah, I do think Brittany could have handled it herself. Um, Jill was very aggressive in a good way. Um, I have a couple more things. On the flip need. side of that, though, I wouldn't yeah. want, like, I think if I was, like, a guy or if I was, or if it was guys arguing, I wouldn't want my spouse getting involved. Yeah, I think it's even with your friends and yeah. your spouse. You don't, no, 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 no. I'm saying, like, I, as a friend, would do it. Yeah. I'm not mad at Jill for doing it at all. If I were Jill's spouse, I would be like, just, just, yeah. like, leave it alone. So, like, if you were Jacob. Yeah, that would be, like, a little bit of a turnoff for me. Not a big one, just a tiny turnoff, because she really dove in quickly. Yeah, like, just sort of, like, we're doing our thing. I would appreciate here. it as Brittany, not so much as, J- not so much as Jacob, just because I'm like, Brittany could have done that herself. Like, why are you making drama? Like, just chill. I would just be like, don't make it about you, which I feel like sometimes Jill does a little bit. <laughs> like, this is about Brittany, but I, I'm okay with it. This episode is brought to you by Visible. Maybe you've already let your New Year's resolution slip. We all have, but you can still make a two years resolution with Visible. Right now, you can get a one-line wireless plan from Visible for just $20 per month for 24 months. 24 months is basically four bachelor seasons. That could be four engagements, four broken engagements, so many other couples we didn't see them coming. It's really an eternity in Bachelor Nation. And that's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon with no annual contracts. Switch now at Visible.com and use the code Visible24. Don't miss out. Offer ends January 31st. New members only. Promotional rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, see Visible.com. This episode is brought to you by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. eBay knows that when it comes to jewelry, authenticity is the real gem. When you see the blue check mark that says Authenticity Guarantee, it means your next piece will be carefully inspired by jewelry experts and will always be worth its weight in gold. Whether you're looking to make a statement or build the perfect everyday look, eBay is making sure you get the real deal. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, you can trust that jaw-dropping piece will always arrive jaw-droppingly real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. This episode is brought to you by State Farm. You might say all kinds of stuff when things go wrong, but these are the words you really need to remember. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They've got options to fit your unique insurance needs, meaning you can talk to your agent to choose the coverage you need, have coverage options to protect the things you value most, file a claim right on the State Farm mobile app, and even reach a real person when you need to talk to someone. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 
Do you want to talk about Michael A? Yes. <laughs> Before we do that, because we're going to go deep, I just need to say, Shanae and Tyler's flexibility. and the Impressive. Fact, the fact that they could do all those moves. Holy shit. Yeah. Good, they're in good shape. Good shape. Must do um, a lot of yoga. I couldn't do any of that shit. Jill again coming in <laughs> to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't seem like the most self-aware person. No, I don't think so. But because I, even through camera, it had to have been worse in person. Through camera, I'm like, they're not giving you any energy. They're telling you to leave. I thought he was actually kind of glad she was there. Shanae was not engaging at all. Like, please get that here. But I thought that he <sighs> was no. like... I think he's just nice. Mm-hmm. I don't, he does I'm seem not nice. saying that he wanted her to leave so that him and Shanae could hook up. I just felt like, yeah, there was one point when he was like rubbing his eyes like, oh my God. It's not necessarily he wanted her to leave so that they could hook up. I think he just wanted her He's to leave tired. because <laughs> he didn't want to hear about... Full body workout earlier. He No, she was just like, oh my God. And if Jacob does this, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and was like just spewing about Jacob. And I felt like he was like, I really don't care. He... Shanae was like trying to... like She was like, do you want to go get a drink? I'm like, and, and Joe was like, no. And just kept kept talking. I'm like, how are you not Jill's feeling just like this? Lo- looking for an audience. How are you not feeling this? She was talking to herself. They were giving her one word answers. So funny. And then she just like got up and walked away. Still didn't get it. Jill, this, this Jill is definitely the season MVP for me so far. She's so <laughs> dramatic and like so ex- ex- um, expressive hmm. that like without her, I feel like it would be way flatter. So I'm I'm happy she's there. I don't know who my season MVP was. Well, I'll I'll think about it. Okay. Now we must just discuss public enemy number one, <sighs> Michael fucking A. Yeah, it's not I, good. We hated him already. I hate him even more. I mean, he really, really, really took a nosedive. He was like, hot zaddy, day one on the beach. Like, oh. Hot Kamad. So. America's fucking. Dad, husband. Uh, like. Sleepless in Seattle part two. He was king of Bachelor franchise. Yes. We're all ready to get on board. Let me tell you, not only did we turn on him. Everyone turned on him. The tweets were horrific. Deservedly so. So he told Sierra that he didn't see it going anywhere and he wasn't ready. But yeah, no, no. Let's just be clear. He said he wasn't ready. Not that he didn't see it going anywhere between those two. He, he said he ready. wasn't ready, and he kind of made it seem like this always happens because of my ex. Yes. Or is it, are they called it's an ex? My, my deceased wife. Yeah. Um, like, I get to a point where it gets, goes too fast or we get too far and I get scared. It had nothing to do with her. Nothing. And it was not, I don't see this working with you. It was like... I'm not I'm ready. Not, I'm not there yet. This is too fast for me. Like, can we be friends? Then he continued to cry and tell us, like, I don't want to keep hurting people, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I want to stay. I want to see this through. See what through? If you're not ready, then why are you still here? It was inexplicable. And I really feel like Ugh. he... This is really mean, and this is a big accusation, but I feel he uses the death of his wife, Laura, to like for his favor like to like get more screen time and to like be on TV and have a story and it's it's fucked up and then fucking Danielle walks in at the like the very last moment before okay, the rose ceremony Okay wait can we talk about that too Yeah He got an enormous amount of screen time He is just like the narrator and so much screen time and was like I guess I'm going home, I'm going home. Like, the numbers aren't in my favor. There is no one to me. Then there was, like, a point where he was like, I wish I would have gotten to know Brittany more. And I was like, He's just looking what? for anyone. Like, yeah, he was just trying to stay. And then at the fucking bell sounding for the rose <laughs> ceremony, down walks the perfect fucking match for him. Someone he's been speaking to, but has never met. And wow, Danielle Maltby. It's a, a miracle. A I'm paradise. like... Christmas. I need this. No, I need the same energy times a fucking million that we had for Brendan and Piper for Michael A. Oh. Not for Danielle, for Michael A only. Yeah. I mean, she didn't know what happened beforehand and whatever. It's fine. Uh, 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 I just like, 
I hate him. It's so messed up. And he How so far he, he took it with Sierra was too much. Yeah. And how genuine Sierra was to the point where she went fucking home. I know. And she She wasted her entire She's also a hot commodity. On him because she was 100% genuine about it. Completely. By the way, I know like last, was it last season? I think it was last season. Like the, like the Natasha thing and everything. And I didn't feel like that badly for Natasha or as badly as other people did um, because I felt like Brendan was kind of showing was, her signs and hinting around at yeah. things and like wouldn't make out with her and like weird things that I was like, that would be a sign to me. Yeah. Um, still think it's fucked what Brendan did. But this was like Sierra and him were talking about his kid. They were talking about the future. They were making out all day, every day. She bought him stars. Like this was a whole nother level. And that's why I say he like uses his his this tragedy of his wife's death because he talked about it so much and positioned like this breakup as like I'm not ready because of Laura. And that's really not the case. You just were using Sierra to wait for Danielle to show up. Yeah. And it's like, that's really horrible for the memory of your wife. That's horrible for her family and for your son. Like, it's just it's just really messed up. And then it's obviously horrible for Sierra. I mean, she's got to feel so, so shitty. Yeah, so she tweeted. Last week, she was tweeting and was basically, like, trying to justify why she was getting so deep. And like, she basically was like, I don't regret it. Like, if I'm going to date someone who has a kid, like, this is how I would like to approach it. I was trying to like, make sure that I was considering all of his feelings and was basically like, this goes 10 times faster than you guys can even imagine, like when you're there. And for the most part, everyone was super supportive. Sierra, by the way, like, I think both of us were like, I think the edit was weird. Like, I think she was saying the exact things that they were talking about two days ago. Like, I don't think Sierra did anything wrong. She didn't. And, and then also, this week, it's also like not even a question of like, did she do anything wrong or right? Like, he, you know, it's a, it also like would have been okay if the relationship didn't work out. Or Michael was like, you know what? I'm actually like not feeling this the way that you are. I think you're great, but like I want to pursue other people. Even if he was like, this is going really fast, and like we need to we need to slow down. Or maybe it, it went so fast that it got me to the point where like I'm confused. I don't know if I want to do this anymore with you. Like I don't I don't I'm not sure if I see a future with you. Whatever. Fine. At least that's the truth. Yeah. Totally. Even though now seeing things, I'm like, were you always waiting for Danielle? Yes. Yeah. So it would have been better if you told him, if she, if he would have told her, I'm just not into you. It would have been better because then she could have moved on. Yeah. But it would have been even better if he never went down the fucking road with her. I don't understand how he stayed. I hope that there was other people before Danielle arrived, like, on the beach, being like, if it, if, if that, if you can't get there, because that's what you told Sierra, like, why are you still here? Like, didn't seem like that. No, I know. Like, no one seemed to ask him any questions. No one's outraged. And then, Oh, this is the worst part. They're not involved in Casa Amor. At all. Like, they just had their date while everyone else was, like, you know, going through it. And now they just get to chill and, like, be on the sidelines and, like, live a fantasy. It's like, what the fuck? Why? What did, why is he what, being rewarded? What did he do to deserve this? I just... I... <sighs> also, that's pre-planned. Like, production... Oh, 100%. Pro- this was always production's plan, was to give Michael... Danielle. This, Danielle was, on this specific day to keep them out of Casa more and have that be, like, some love story. It's not. Not at all. Also... I can't imagine, based off of socials... hmm it doesn't seem like production anticipated this turn on Michael A. Because they gave him so much time. And also the music that was playing. Oh it was God. like, oh, the fantasy. Oh. Like this intense hero edit. And even on the one-on-one, I was like, I don't want to hear this. I Me don't want to hear it. You were saying the same shit to Sierra. Me neither. And, I mean, I agree. And some of the stuff he was saying, I'm like, that's a red flag, Danielle. Yeah. Like, and him being like, I guess I just need someone with scars. Like, I think you need therapy. (laughs) I haven't seen her on TV in a long time. However, when she was on... Who, uh, Danielle? Yeah. She looked great, by the way. Yeah, she looked great. (laughs) I remember thinking her story was... uh, Left me with questions when I first heard it. I, I don't know if you remember, but basically she was engaged and it turned out that her fiance had been an addict and she found him... um 
uh, she she tells Michael about this. She found him, and then he passed away, Ugh. which is horrible. And she's got to be so traumatized. Yeah. Um. She also was a nurse, so I remember at the time being surprised that she didn't know he was an addict. Um. And like didn't see the signs. Um. But you know, I obviously have no insight into the relationship. But do you know who she's dated since? Mm. Polly from the challenge, as in Cara Maria and Polly. What? Yeah. <laughs> So I also just, like, have some questions about... Her selection? Yes. Then they broke up because he, like, lied because he was, like, still dating Cara Maria or whatever. But Also, like, 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 hmm. I just... Doesn't seem like Michael A. would be next up. I know. And so I guess they had been talking on social or whatever, Clearly. like, DMing, whatever. But this whole thing is, like, infuriating. I have mm-hmm. no interest in oh, it. Oh, my gosh. Wait. We didn't even talk about this. When he said... And then I saw a beautiful blonde walking down. I was just like, ew. Like, I know. Obviously, I do think she is a beautiful blonde. But like, that just... It, you you breaking up with Sierra and then saying that and all of a sudden being fine. I was just like... I, just like, so you used a black woman. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was just like, again, by the way, because the same thing happened to Natasha. Yeah. I was just like, I am so grossed out by him now. Yeah. I, I totally hate him. And also... It's just, like, also got to make you angry at the show because they made him this hero and he's, like, supposed to be, like, this, like, happy story. And I'm just, like, (laughs) fuck this guy. Yeah, that's what I was saying when I was watching it. I was laughing because I was, like, the producers think, oh, people are going to love this. Finally, Michael A. finding his happiness and da-da-da-da-da. And I'm, like, people are not loving this. No. (laughs) We (laughs) We are are not. not happy. And I just honestly think it's unfair that everyone else has to do this split thing. Yeah. And, like, if they're going to be together, then let them go through the split thing and do what Brandon and Serena are doing. Or, or yeah, have Danielle come in day one and... Or... Well, he probably wouldn't have made it through, so that would that would have fucked up their plans. But, like, Danielle could have been one of the girls coming in on the split thing, whatever. But this, them being like, okay, last second, Michael is going to go home, so let's throw Danielle down there. Then let's, then let's have them go on their date so that they don't have to do this. I'm like... Why? I know. It was it was so ridiculous. Another kind of just like weird note and also offensive note from the Michael A. and um, Danielle situation. This is not something one of them said, but Wells was like, they're the same person, but with different genitalia. So they should just date. And it's just like, did you have to frame it that way? As like, it's great. It's just like, it's just like I don't know. What if they were the same person with the same genitalia? It just, also, like, it just, wasn't, like, just because they went through something tragic, they could be completely different people. I know. Which, I, I don't know if they are or they aren't. Obviously, The Bachelor um, really believes in trauma bonds. Like, that's, like, what the show is based on. <laughs> so, they, like, pre- people in this world think that. But just, like, everything about them, I'm just like, if you guys are happy and you want to date, fine. But, like, again, to make this, like, a paradise thing where someone is used... And I don't then, like, like it. yeah, I don't either. And also, they're, if, if I recall correctly, Danielle's super boring. Um, and Michael is just obviously a good narrator. But I, this was a huge misfire by the show. I huge. think that if they had her day one, one, it would have allowed Sierra to be with whoever, mm-hmm. which, by the way, like, she has a great personality, so, so pretty. pretty. Yeah. Also, like, her clearly, skin, like, very sweet. fucking <laughs> beaming at the beach. Like, she could have found someone else or not and got sent home, like, whatever. She could have had a normal experience. I'm just like, why didn't you have Danielle on? Oh, probably because her and Michael A would have mashed up right away and it would have just been boring. Yeah, I know. Even, even Brandon and Serene have personalities. Yeah, also, Serene is clearly, like, a glue person. Like, it seems like people really, like, rally around her. Even if she's not, like, the most um, demonstrative, like, Jill, I feel like everyone really loves her. And, like... By the way, just... I think the same thing with Brandon. Brandon's yeah. been, like, kind of a narrator, too. He's I'm been... just so anti-Brandon, I can't help it. No, Brandon <laughs> has been going around to a lot of the guys, talking to them, like, told Rodney, like, you are a hot commodity. Like, he has been talking, and um, he's also been, like, really fun and goofy, which Rodney? we didn't... No, oh, Brandon. Brandon. We, yeah. had, we didn't see that I know. with I, Michelle. That, and that's why I didn't like him because like a sort of like a like a mopey, needy man is one of my least favorite types of people. I mean, that's true for ever, of all people, men and women. Like yeah. needy and mopey, I just don't go for. But he's like, seems like he's having fun. And High like, energy. Like yeah. he's danced multiple times. Like when he got the date card, he was like, look what I have. Yeah. Like he's just in a great mood. 
obviously he's in a great situation, so it's easy to be. But with um, with the perfect woman, with fucking queen of the beach. <laughs> but I um, I think both of them are are those people, and I don't think Michael A. or Danielle will be. I mean, we once they like went back to showing like the house, we didn't see either of them. Yeah, because they're just like sitting on the day bed doing nothing, talking to each other. <laughs> I mean, she I was could, talking. To- I could not be more mad about that situation. It's just like a. It's it's offensive. Like, yeah. It's just like offensive. She uh, she spoke to um, Andrew about like if he was going to go for it or not. I think. Yeah. I just really I feel very invested in Brittany. I like her, mm. and I want her to find love. Why the fuck did they kiss under the shower? Who? Andrew and Jusenia. They were walking back from their day. Oh, they just like stopped. And they stopped and he picked her up and they were totally dry in clothes, full clothes, not bathing suits. He picked her up and started, they started kissing and he backed up into a shower head that was blasting water on top of them. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Why, is, why, I was, <laughs> why are they kissing underneath a random shower hose and both getting drenched. I guess they thought it would be hot. I don't know. Like I felt or like they were hot. I think it's just go to in the me, water together. It made it seem like they that production was like, oh, it'll be like a waterfall moment. <laughs> it wasn't. It was really weird. It was so weird. Maybe they thought it would like be in the opening credits or something. I have no it idea. It was really, really weird. I, I need you to go back and watch him just back up into the shower. I was like, wait, what's what? I really enjoyed Jasenia, so I, I also hope she finds love. Um, I also like how she's approaching it. Oh, totally. She's, like, way more lighthearted than last season. Normal. Yeah, she's just, like, having a good time. Also, she's not like, I just want to sit on your lap. Like, she's very, like, tell me about yourself. What do you like? What do you dislike? Yeah. Let me just get to know him more. Hopefully, and, like, what are you here for? Hopefully, we connect. And if we do, then great. If we don't, like, I just want him to be, I just want him to be open. And she has been putting in work for 48 hours and she <laughs> got her outdoor shower kiss in full clothes. I will say, this is the first time this season where I'm like looking forward to next week and I'm like, what's going to happen next? Yeah, wait, well, we didn't talk about Luce. Luce. I'm done with Luce. I'm ready to move on from her. How awesome was that scene? When she's walking? <laughs> when she walked down to the beach and the guys were like, oh, fuck. Also, <laughs> right after Wells was like, this is not going to go over well. I don't know if you guys know Luce, but Hurricane Luce is coming. And they were like, really? It's funny because literally none of those guys know her. No, they're one, all, no they're, one knows who yeah, she is. They're all like, I, like, is it going to be that bad? And Wells was like, it's going to be worse than whatever you're thinking. It's going to be worse. And then one of them, I can't remember who it was. I, I'm surprised that Luce was the only one who went over. Like, why didn't... <laughs> When Brandon was like, where are the other girls? She was like, don't ask me about the other girls. And he was like, <laughs> uh... Um, and she, she kept trying to ask them for info on, on Rodney, and then they would ask about their own relationships. <laughs> and she was like, no. And he's like, I'm asking about my relationship. You're asking me about, a, like, you can wait till Rodney gets here. Like, I'm not going to snitch on him. Also, I'm like, Luz. He's so unexcited to see her. Pick up the clues. <laughs> Pick up the clues. They were all like, uh, this is not a conversation for us to have. I I do respect that none of the guys were gossipy. Like, they were all like, we're not saying anything. I One thing that's, like, both good and bad about these guys, I think they're all better, like, together in a group than they are one-on-one, which, Mm. like, suggests to me a level of immaturity, but also kind of makes them fun for this specific thing. (laughs) But... Andrew's face when he saw he's like, Luce. He's like, oh. <laughs> and then when when her and Rodney walked off, they were all like, this is not going to be good. Not what they want. And when Wells was telling them, someone said, I wish I could remember, maybe it was Logan. Someone was like, oh, Rodney, Rodney's not, didn't know, doesn't know. He's He doesn't see it's going to go very badly. Like, <laughs> Rodney's completely unaware that Luce is loose as a goose and is going to lose her mind. So when he sees her, he's probably like, oh, fuck, this is going to be awkward, but isn't that worried? And all the guys are trying to be like, bro, buckle up. Not going to be good. (laughs) (laughs) Sound the alarm. This is not a good situation for you, Rodney. I'm now watching them in the shower, as you requested. Is it not weird? It's weird because the water is like only over Andrew's head head and face. And but like, where did it come from? I don't know. They're 
walking down the stairs and they stop. He picks her up and then he steps backwards into it. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know why they did that. And it's like, also, there's just like water right on his cheeks. Yeah, it's, he's, he, it's <laughs> he's like, making out. it's on the top, like on the top of his head. Like it's not, you know, most showers on the back. Hilarious. It's over his head. Like I was thinking like water is getting in their nose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like it's like going to be hard for them it's to not breathe. not a good angle of shower. <laughs> Oh man, good good stuff. Callie, you kind of like really talked me into this. I was I was feeling a real residual ick from the uncomfort discomfort of watching the people That's at awesome. the Vedanta, but now I feel excited for next week. Thank you. You're a great co-host for that reason. The loose, loose conversation loose is on the loose. was so awkward and it was gold. It's true. They, I, I do like going in the direction of awkwardness versus like fake love stories. Like, let's make it weird. Literally. Would rather watch Luce talk to herself and get one word answers from the guys for an hour than ever see <laughs> a Michael A and Danielle date again. No more Michael A and Danielle. Completely agree. Hardest of passes. Um, guess what, guys? We are not going to do a second episode on Bachelor this week because Love Is Blind starts on oh, Wednesday, yeah. and we are going to talk about that. So that's coming up later this week, probably Thursday or Friday. Keep an eye out for it. Watch it. I think the first three or four are dropping, so we'll talk about that. And also, don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Episodes one and two are like, meh, but then it really picks up. It's always the case. Yes. And there's some wild stuff that that happens and um, just some really strange couples. So I can't wait to discuss it. (laughs) Thank you so much to Jade Whaley for producing this episode. We'll be back for Love is Blind later this week. And then, of course, more Bachelor next week. Talk to you then. Bye. 